Do you run a blog or do you write articles, blog posts or research papers as a freelance writer? Well, no matter what kind of content you create, AI tools can seriously level up your writing game. So in this video, we're actually going to be exploring two new AI models, Cloud 4.5 Sonnet versus DeepSeek V3.1. So why um, these two AI models are best for S3 writing um, to rank on search, we will still have to know which which um, actually does the job even better and which can actually beat commercial or general purpose AI detector tools including size space AI detector uh, which is specially designed to detect AI scores in research papers and if any of these AI models actually score 5% to 30% AI score at the end of this video I'm going to be showing you how you can actually fix that you know we don't just want to run on search we actually want our content to be 100% human written. So to assess the two AI models for free, you need to sign up for a free account with an SEO writing tool. I'm going to be leaving the link in this video description or you can just go to your browser and search for sgwriting.ai and it will also bring you to this dashboard. Okay, but for quick access, check out the link in the video description. I have actually been using this SG writing AI tool for three years now and it's actually an amazing AI tool um, writers can use to elevate your content creation process you can write blog articles and auto post them um, to your wordpress uh, website or you can just you know um, create blog articles and schedule on your website your wordpress website okay so um, let's um write our first article using cloud 4.5 sonnets okay so let's quickly click on the blog article generation and here yeah, it's going to bring you to this dashboard where you have to impute your main keyword your title secondary keyword so you go ahead to add your title then here you go ahead to impute your secondary keywords to actually help your post rank if you don't have your keywords you can just click on the generate nlp and this writing ai will suggest some keywords for you but i highly suggest you get this long tail keywords from Google suggest and Google search, you know, as um, that will actually help you to get keywords um, that real people are asking or searching for online. And you can as well go ahead to add your outline if you have, but if you don't have, then you can also um, ask the AI tool to generate that for you. The fact that we're just trying to test um, these two AI models, we're actually going to be leaving it blank. The next important thing is your course setting, okay? So so once you just scroll down, you're actually going to see some course settings you want to you know, carry out. Um, the first one is the language. So just go ahead to select your preferred um, language. Then you also want to select the article style. Okay, so after selecting your tone of voice, um, right beside it, we have the AI setting where you can actually select your desired AI model. So just click on this and you can actually see the list of different ai models that we want to work with we want to scroll down okay you're actually going to see um cloud 4.5 sonnet so this is the one we want to make use of then this is actually going to cost you four credits and um the point of view you want it to be either first person um we i may my mind we also also you know just select i'm going for the second person then test readability this is actually okay let's leave it at the eighth and ninth grade then the target country you select also and the ai content cleaning click on this and next thing you want to do is you can go ahead to add your brand voice but let me just go ahead so put in every other information here. You can go ahead to select all of these other ones here, but I'm just going to be leaving it at that for this um, tutorial. Then the structure, we want it to be um, factual. We want it to be fast. Then we want conclusion. We do want table. We want head entry. We want lists. Um, let's just... Okay, let's so uh, leave the list and leave this. Okay, no codes. Okay, let's leave this note. Uh, 
Okay, this is then you can as well add your uh, internal linkings and it's external linking also. And here you can connect your social media platforms, you know, to repurpose your content. Okay, so we just um select every other important stuff you want here. Then we want to click on one. Okay, um, let's you know, give me a minute. Let me copy this keywords because I want to use the same keywords for the deep seek. Okay, so now I'm going to click on run and it's going to ask you to confirm this. Then go ahead to click on continue. Okay, so this is going to take some time to generate. And if you can actually look down here, you can see that I've actually been using this AI tool for quite some time now. So let's just wait for this to create our content. So here we have it. Our article has been generated. Remember, with this AI tool, you can as well add videos and pictures to your to your content, to your blog post. But I decided to leave it the way it is because we're trying to um, run a test here. So now that we are done generating our content, our first article with Cloud 4.5 Sonnet. The next thing we want to do is to go and generate another content with the same keyword, the same title, the same secondary keywords with DeepSeek. We're going to go and, you know, carry out the same settings. The English, we're going to be leaving it as US English, the default. Then the article type. We want it also to be comparison. Then the size, we want it small. Then we want it to be informational. So for the AI model, we want to make use of um, DeepSeek V3.1 this time around. Remember, I'm not making use of this one here. We want to scroll down and make use of DeepSeek V3.1. Then now we want to click on run. Okay, so the second article has been generated. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is the one that was written with DeepSeek. Okay guys, so now that we have generated uh, two articles using Cloud 4.5 Sonnet and DeepSeek um, V3.1, the next thing we want to do is to carry out a quick AI detection test. That is um, to know the AI score of um, both um, articles. So first of all, let's go ahead to copy the one for cloud 4.5. Okay, so next, so let me just copy some parts of this article. Okay, I think this is fine. Uh, I think this is enough. So we'll go to our AI detector tools. Remember, I'm actually making use of general purpose AI detector tool. Then before we make use of the AI tool that is specially designed for research paper called SciSpace. So I'm just going to copy and paste the article here. Then click on detect text. And so it actually shows that the article written with Cloud 4.5 Sonnet is... 5.5% AI generated. So now let's go to the next AI tool. So we're going to delete this, then paste the text. Okay, this is actually more. Um, so I'm just going to delete this. Now watch from there. Okay, so click on the text text. All right, so this shows that this article was um, has 23% AI-generated text. This is for Squibot. So let's go to Jupyter Zero. We're just going to delete, then paste. Let's click on Scan. And it actually shows that this text is 99% AI. So we'll go to the next show, which is our size space. We're going to delete this. Add our text. You can click on analyze. All 
and site space actually shows that this content is 80% AI generated. All right, so now let's go and copy the one written with DeepSeek V3.1. So this is it. So we're going to copy from the heading. And we go to the first one, which is Zero GPT, which gives a first um which gives our first article 5.5% AI generated text. So this will be delete. So I'm going to click on the text. Okay, so it actually gives this 4.56% AI generated text for the article written with sick V3.1. So let's go to screenboard. So we're going to delete base. So scan. Okay, so still what actually says this content is 47% AI generated text. All right, then now let's go to GPT-0 and do this one more time. Paste, then click on scan. Okay, so GPT-0 actually shows that this text is 100% AI generated. Okay, so let's go to our last AI tool, size space, delete. Then click on analyze. Okay, so size space actually shows that this content is 80% AI generated text. Okay, so now that we have seen the performance of both articles, the next thing we want to do is to go ahead to humanize each of this article. Then we're going to run another text, making use of GPT-0 and SciSpace this time, okay? Because these are the AI tool that actually gave an accurate score almost. I'm not going to say that is 100%, but they actually gave a higher percentage of AI score. So we're actually going to be making use of just um, those two for now. So I'm going to be trying this with um, selfwriter.ai to see the results. Okay, so we're using the humanizer tool here. Yeah. Then we're going to choose um, the level we want to make use of. This is fifth. Okay, don't change style. The defaults. Then click on humanize. Okay, so scroll down. Okay, so this is shown here in that um, this is human rating 88% and AI generated 12%. Okay, so this is the humanized version. So I'm just going to quickly um, copy this. Um, go back. Okay. Then okay, now we copy. So we're going to go back to GPT zero. Okay. Let's start with um, size space. So we we'll delete. Then paste the new text. Then click on reanalyze. Okay. All right. So now size space actually shows that this content is 1% AI generated text. You can actually see how the AI score actually dropped from 80% AI generated text now to 1% AI generated text, which is pretty amazing. So um, let's go and try this with the GPT-0. So we're just going to delete the old text, then paste the new one. Remember, the old text shows that this is 100% AI generated. So we're going to click on scan. Okay, so this time around, what um, GPT-0 is saying that it is confident that this um, text was rewritten by AI 
an AI paraphraser or AI bypasser zero. Okay, so um, this is actually a honest review. So I actually discovered that um, GPT-0 still maintain a stent. It's very, very consistent with its rating. And um, size space um, is also consistent with its rating um, based on the fact that the both articles it's detected as AI generated, 80% AI score, just that it has not reached the level of detecting um, a content that is being rewritten by stealth writer AI. So my standpoint, I would say that if you're looking for the best AI humanizer to out there, then Stealth Writer, the Stealth Writer AI is the go-to. Um, if that is the AI tool you want to use to rewrite your AI um, um content, AI written content. But I highly recommend the actually writing AI if you are you know, a freelancer or if you run a blog post, it's very great for writing SEO friendly content. So if you are someone that is not good with SEO, then just yes, writing AI is your go to. But I highly advise you to always check for the AI score using all of these AI detectors. OK, so if you don't have any problem making use of AI tools, then you want to try the SG Writing AI. It actually gives you free credits when you sign up as a new user, except you are an old user, then you have to renew your subscription. So guys, that's going to be the end of this video. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like, you know, and you also want to subscribe to the channel. That's to support me and encourage me to keep um, posting content out here. And um, if you actually have any question, you can as well let me know in the comment section. I'm actually going to do my best to get to you to answer your questions. And if it's possible, I can create a tutorial video on that. Okay, so also share the video. Thanks for watching once more. Thanks a lot. Love you and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.